sharing his views at the inaugural ceremony special guest of honor spiritual guru and founder of the anamay vedic ashram at uttarakhand swami ashutosh urs strobel ji highlighted the fact that religious activities including prayers meditation and yogic flying can bring about world peace when i was asked to come here on the earth the name is a university with the name of world peace i had no idea that it actually so much establishment is going on on such a grand scale i was very impressed the whole morning i have seen all the activities going on here and i'm still trying to digest it so <laughs> really really very impressive now yes maishi ji has always taught his meditation with four selling project with four selling points out of which three are very easy to understand which is mental potential on health and social behavior but then there was a fourth point which was always very difficult to integrate and how does a person start to meditate because he would be a contributor to world peace and that is very abstract and difficult to comprehend and i have not understood it for many years The first time Maishichi has shocked us was it shocked me at least when in 1979 you all must remember when USSR has attacked Afghanistan Maishichi called us all to the hall and said we have done a big mistake we have forgotten to do the puja to Kartikeya I said what has an invasion of a USSR army to do with the puja of Kartikeya this was slightly far above my head but one year later i understood it mashi gave a lecture in the indian express building whole connection but before i'm revealing that secret which lightened my mind up i want to show you a little bit the research which on which basis this whole principle is that by having prayers like we have here or by having meditation or by having yogic flying or by having all this spiritual religious activity actually can bring world peace and it has taken me many years to understand and usually this presentation is 2 hours long but i think in a country of sri tukaram who has blended in his life the adi devik with the adi atmik with the adi bhautik you have seen that picture uh, before of the holy tradition on days yes there is uh, vashishta teaching of vashishta is one source of that knowledge he teaches to lord rama how to rule a kingdom so that there are no problems next slide so in that next slide in that in and uh, back back yeah okay field of con- my, it, he explains to lord rama one slide back mm. he explains to lord rama that you have 5% of the population of your nation doing meditation that will be enough to keep the nation free of problems and everything will be healthy and no attacks and no crime etc then he he explains and you can see there the effect will not by verbal communication but through primarily a physical effect on the body mediated directly by consciousness now this word consciousness we have in english only one word like in hindi you have only one word for snow but the eskimos they have 20 now the same way in the vedic tradition there are many words in the yoga vashishta there are 33 words for consciousness they have all different shades which show that the people who experience finer levels of consciousness they have different degrees now the consciousness which is referring here must be what is described in the mimamsa sutras the kriya shakti level of consciousness now the regular and he ex- also explains to sri ram it's very important that the people are regularly otherwise if they are not regularly it will fall back and you will have problems now 
He says that a group of Siddhas who practice the Meditation Sutta will be enough to do for, for the peace of the nation. Meditation has one effect, but he explained that if you have Siddhas, which because the 5% inside the population you cannot control, you don't know whether they are doing it or not. But if you have a small group of Siddhas who do also Siddhis and yogic flying in your palace under one roof, that will be as effective as 5%. Unfortunately, Vashishta is not saying exactly how much you need, but he's, he says that it's much more effective, especially because it's in a group. It will have an effect of square. Now, I found in one other text in the Shiva Samhita, where it says if the yogi lifts up and has the yogic flying effect, then he will purify the whole world. Now, this, that is square root. This is the a square root. That means the n square effect is what Vashishta refers to. And we know from science that a small unit of orderliness is much more powerful than a huge amount of chaos. So that is the principle of this. And by that we can govern a nation in peace, happiness, prosperity, and in integrity free of attacks if we have enough people producing that effect. The, the, we call this thing the Maharishi effect in honor of Maharishi who emphasized it to the world and is compared to the Meissner effect where we have a complete state of orderliness in an electric current where no penetrating field can go in. Same thing is with the uh, Kavach, you can say. Purity basically is triumphing. Now here we have our yogic flyers and now let's see what effect they have. I showed you now the Praman on the level of sign of our Vedic text. Now I'm showing you three, four of these uh, modern signs because that is another proof. This was one of the first researches on uh, yogi flying we did in 1978, where we sent in each nation, we had a group of people uh, going to a certain district of a nation, like Rhode Island in the United States and in other countries. In, in India, we have taken New Delhi. In Germany, we have taken Bavaria and Switzerland, Uri, etc. So all the teachers uh, who learned the yogic flying technique went there and for several months were doing just that. In that place, plus teaching meditation to as many people as possible to see for the coming three, four years if the effect can be maintained. And we have taken a statistic of events in these, from the government, statistic on different, uh, if you look through it, then you will see that there are always superlatives, the largest decreased, the first time it decreased, the best, and you see it's suicide dropped, and uh, divorce dropped, marriages increased, and traffic accidents, fatalities less, murder fell, all these different uh, 12 parameters I think they have taken, were dramatic turnaround. This research had a p-value of one in a million chance that it was a coincidence. Uh, it was combined with uh, three more uh, nations, New Delhi, Puerto Rico and the Philippines. And that was then published in the Journal of Mind and Behavior. Now, this, in the same year, we tested in five places in the world. One in Puerto Rico, President Santosh invited us. And I mean you, whenever Marshi has done these things, we informed the government or went by invitation. It's not that we came to the back door and tried out and see whether it works. No, we came to the front door and said, it will work, watch it out, test your statistics, observe what is happening in the nation. So we sent 160 people to uh, Nicaragua and 140 to neighboring countries. And it was a dramatic turnaround. From the moment the people arrived there, the whole chaos which was in the country and thousands of people who have been dying stopped. President Santosh uh, announced election and uh, um, the prisoners got released and all that. And the moment the people left, the whole thing collapsed again. Now, if you see in, in the African nations, Zambia and Zimbabwe, there we had also 16 people died average daily. The moment our people came, there were 56 people coming to Zambia. It stopped, it fell down to three people a day in the average. And when they left again, it went back to 16. It was just mind-blowing. 
And in the neighboring uh, state of uh, uh, Zimbabwe, the Zambia, in Lusaka, when our people arrived, 40 of them, the bombing of the city stopped. And then the government asked us to stay back so they can have peaceful elections, so we did. And after they left, again, it exploded. Same as in Iran. In Iran, Maishi sent 200 people and they, everything became quiet. And it was a very critical situation. It was the transition from the Shah to Khomeini. And then the Shah, I mean, the government did not extend the visas of our people. And Maishi, I was sitting with him and he said, I feel cornered. I have the solution we cannot continue. And he was a little bit upset and he instructed the people to leave immediately together in one charter flight. The plane has taken off not even one hour and the hotel burned down and it was a complete chaos in the country. In, in, the, in Lebanon, there were 400 people in Israel and uh, in Syria about 120 people and in uh, Cyprus also. And that has put Lebanon for the entire duration of three months at peace. Lebanon had a very drastic uh, civil war going on during those days. The moment these courses were over, the people left again. It was the biggest onslaught again in Beirut. And they grouped over there in Thailand because there was a war building up between, uh, between Cambod Cambodia and Vietnam backed by USSR and US, USA, uh, respectively. And uh, that was very dangerous and it was about to spoil over to Thailand. 260 people went to Thailand and just the yogi flying there and the whole thing stopped. We can see in the statistics here, this was done by the Conflict and Peace Data Bank. When our people were there, this was the improvement according to that database. And if you see it over a whole, over 10 years, whenever we had con conferences with big groups, which you just see in the next slide, we had this change. Now, Mashi was convinced that we need a big group because he knew that the problem of all problems is always coming from the United States. So he needed a big group there with hundred, with, to make U.S. pure and the square it out of 1% of the U.S. population with 1,600 people. So we have also a nice golden dome, not as high as here, but <laughs> so there were two domes, one for the lady and one for the man, and they every day did the meditation together. It had a huge effect on, on the life quality of the United States. That is one of my favorite researchers, not because I'm a chemist by profession, but <laughs> the thing is that, that uh, what we did is we tested the level of happiness in the public of the city of Fairfield, of people which are not practicing meditation, they are just under the influence of that effect.